Hi Libra, I'm Susie from Gift to Her 2. This is your reading for the week of the 8th of February. Sorry I'm late, but here goes. Angels, spirit guides, and universe. What would you like Libra to know about this week? What would you like Libra to know about this week of the 8th of February for the next seven days? Okay. Libra, please. What would you like Libra to know about the next seven days? Libra, what would you like Libra to know? Libra, a couple more cards for Libra, please. <laughs> they all wanted to come out then. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, climbing Libra. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Charity, charitable giving, giving and receiving equal measure. Um, you could be helping someone out or they could be helping you out this week, but there's some kind of give and take. There's, it's not like they're casting a sprat to catch a mackerel, it's equal. Um, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Uh, you've planted seeds somewhere. There could, so it could be something to do with a child. Um, there's something about to bear fruit or it's starting to bear fruit, something you've invested in. Um, there's a Queen of Wands here who's wanting to take action and lead something. Is this you, Libra? You want to lead the investment that, that started to bear fruit. It could be something about children. Um, She's passionate, she's fiery, could be someone you're dealing with, um, could be a mother and a child. But there's something towards management, leadership, um, and planting seeds, investing in something, leaving yourself with a little bit of money, but investing most of the money in land or a business or something like that. And um, there's something very fiery and passionate about it. She leads possibly Leo. Um, so then, so maybe this is bare fruit. You've got some savings that have come in. Could be £7,000, could be £70. When you're thinking, so £100,000, you're thinking, what am I going to do? Where am I going to invest my energy? What will I, Where am I going to invest my hard work money? I'm really antsy and I want to get out and do something new. I want the next quest. Um, you could have left a job, left a team of people, this isn't the promotion you wanted. Um, it's like you've got a message about the thing. It, maybe it falls through. Or you don't join this team. Um, and it's not a shock to you. It's like, well, I didn't. I want to start building from a blank canvas anyway. I want to do something that I want to do. I'm anxious to do something, but I wasn't really sure about that anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It could be coming out of a third party situation. Um, and swerving a tower, you've got the tower upside down. So you could be building new things, like new um, foundations for something. Um, there's still a deceit hanging around. It's like, maybe you have to stay and you're confined. You can't, you're still a bit not strong enough to get out. You don't have enough or the job to get out or the it's like you're still stuck in this ego or you're stuck inside somewhere where you can't you haven't got the courage because it's the strength reversed again this leo this sort of it's, it's a, there's a weakness because someone has been is is devious or they're keeping a secret and this is causing this this secret or this deviousness or someone stole something or this weakness that someone has is causing a, a termination of a partnership um, or a friendship because someone's juggling. They can't... It's like this is when you go back into a, a relationship and you've ended it in the Three of Swords and you go back for the second time thinking you can make it work. 
but it's like that's what you've tried to do and this person or you have gone and done something skullduggerous again and it's ended worse the second time it's like oh, i should never have gone back um so you're sort of left keep holding all the balls in the air juggling it could there's a massive temptation of the devil's here there's something that's manipulative uh, it could be someone who's in the military or in a lawyer or a doctor there's something toxic but there's it's almost like someone's coming in to make to sort the toxicity out or to sort this temptation out because it's causing a lot of confusion it's causing a lot of jealousy it's causing for you to not move forward but there is a celebration at the end of the week even though your heart's guarded, there's some kind of party or wedding uh, situation or hen do something like that, friends and partying. Um, but you're holding on to your money, you're holding on to your foundation, you're, you're holding on to the, you're guarding your heart against any kind of um, love because you, it keeps confusing you. Really, they're... This week's cards, I tell you, they're not, it's like, they're difficult to read. Um, but there seems to be that things are ending for people regardless of what they want. And it's about not crying over the spilt milk. And if you're going to go into something, you need to start afresh from today onwards and forget about the past, you know. There is some devilment here. There's some kind of mis... I'm hearing misdemeanour. Um, misbehaviour. Misbehaving. And um, it could be because of toxic drink. It could be a lawyer. It could be something. Something hang There's a choice to make. There's something hanging in the balance because you're feeling like you're on shifting sands now. Now this is terminated. You could have burnt a bridge, had an argument with someone over a deception um, or cheating. And... Um, it's like you've been put in a weak position in your home or you've backed down or something and someone's still ended it and it's like, oh my God, now I have to keep all the balls in the air. Uh, you might go on a drinking spree or someone will get drugs or um, toxicity. But there's, there is a truth told here. There is a balance. Someone, if legal, something happens legal or a doctor or something says... Um, we don't have enough information or that uh, it's like you're confused you, you can't make up your mind there's someone that can't make up their mind at the end of this week um you you may be going on a date or something like that but you're very guarded and you need to let go of old principles old things that are keeping you stuck and it's it's that thing of that reciprocal giving it's like there's got to be some kind of give and take here an equal give and take but I, i'm watching the coins go down so whatever, be careful of what you're investing in this week because you could end up at square one. Just trying to keep it all together again. And that's that's what makes someone go off and do this devilment. And it's like, because they can't cope with the, the, the fact that something has um, ended worse the second time. And they've wasted time. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Libra to know? What would you like Libra to know? What would you like? there is an investment in this this fire sign here there is investment in passion but there's also this indecision i want to go off and do this but i can't really afford it because maybe you've left a team you want to go off, you've left a job you've left um you've swerved a tower moment you by leaving some a third party situation maybe you've you've swerved the leave, losing your home but this has made you weak and there's there's still a burden of this secret and you row with someone you say things you can't unsay which makes you go off and be toxic again and want this and being an indecisive it's, it's like a loop you're in a loop what does this say 
Um, religious factors, your love life is being influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, you're, it's like you're trying to do the right thing, you're trying to swerve a tower moment. Angels, spirit, by trying to rebuild something that you've invested in. And you're, you, you just want to go off and be new and do something new. Angels, spirit guides, but, but but you're too weak or someone's too weak to do it because oh this is seat angel spirit there could be age gap there could be religious factors there could be um money situation angel spirit or distance angel spirit guides what would you like libra to know about this week what would you like libra to know about this week past life relationship you have known each other before and children yeah your love life is being affected by children. You're probably staying somewhere or someone's staying somewhere because of the kids or um, you maybe just need to get a babysitter. Go out for the night. If someone wants children, you don't want children. Or people just can be acting childish with that card. There's some kind of discrepancy here. It's some kind of like, something's off. And maybe it's a karmic relationship. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? You've known this person from your past and you just have to make good what, you know, God's put you together for karmic reasons. Deception, yeah, I thought so. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. It's like someone's keeping the peace, but the more you keep the peace, the worse it's going to get and the devil will get involved and you might have to even get a lawyer involved or some kind of um one more please for Libra one more for Libra one more for Libra please what would you like Libra to know what would you like I'll take a common one Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you might want to go and explore. It's like you want to go and explore something else. Um, there could be a row over a business, a row over money. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Libra to know about this week? It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. You know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about The exact without worrying did you see that oh you can't see that because the lights have gone off worry about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen you're a natural counsellor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance New psychic experiences and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer and meditation. Oh my God, that's scary. So that's scary. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. There's lots of... There needs to be something... This, the, there needs to be decisions made this week. You can't hang on the past. You must look forward and make concrete decisions. I'm on the edge of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. And the last one is a happy move to a new house or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So, Libra, we're left in the dark. But there, there's something maybe calming that needs to be cleared up. Something about children. Um, there's something new that's coming in. 
try not to be manipulated or jealous um try and move forward M work from now on guard your heart let go of old principles there's someone has been deceitful there's something that needs to end and it ends for the second time worse but you know and you will manage to uh make that two of pentacles into a four of pentacles um just invest wisely that's what i would say and there's a new job coming and or, or a home and uh yeah so please like share and subscribe there's no lights in my room <laughs> and i will speak to you soon take care libra bye bye